Whoever invited this young man to testify as an expert should be ashamed. What is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm, I went to high school, but that's uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. Okay. I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a professional to talk about carbon dioxide so much, but... Well, you, you want us to abolish it, right? No, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. So, so what is it you want us to do? I... Now, let me back up, because I, I want to... I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross-country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is... What I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And... What? Is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yeah. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. Well, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? Uh, uh, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I'd like to know first if you know what it is. You want us to abolish fossil fuels? I never said that. You never have said that? No. Okay. What, what do you think we ought to do with fossil fuels? What will we do with fossil fuels? Yeah. Should we make any changes? I would like to see a decrease in the use of fossil fuels. I think there's a possibility to use more electric generation. So are you skiing all the way across the country from Alaska, or are you still using fossil fuels by getting on those airplanes and driving in those evil gas cars that burn fuel? I'm just curious because up to this point, all I've ever seen out of these people is hypocrisy. They'll be quick to try to control every aspect of our lives via the power grid, wanting to shut it off at any given time and keep us locked in at home, but yet they're still hopping on private jets and living it up. So how against carbon emissions are y'all really? Over what period of time? 10 years, 50 years, 100 years? That's not, I would like to see it come as fast as possible while continuing. How fast? On. Sorry? How fast? I'm not, I don't have a good you don't answer know? for that, no. Okay, you just think, well, uh, how, how much will it cost for us to uh, become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? I'm not a professional on that. I don't have an answer. You don't have any idea? No. You just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. Yeah, but it's going to cost money. You realize that. Yeah, but we've also talked about the, the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will cost in the future also. So. Right, but it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 20,050, right? I do not know. You don't know. You just no. think we ought to do it. I... Is this a joke? Because old Gus here doesn't know what he's talking about. And not only that, but clearly nobody briefed him on who he'd be talking to at this hearing. Senator John Kennedy is as straight shooting as it gets. So when you step up to that mic, if you don't come correct with the facts, it's going to be a long day. And needless to say, I don't think Gus is coming back anytime soon after this one. I don't have a great answer for you, but I think okay. I would like if to we spent If we neutral. spent those trillions of dollars and became carbon neutral by 2050 in the United States, um, which you advocate, how much will it reduce world temperatures? I don't have an answer for that. You don't know? No. You just think we ought to spend the money and then see what happens? I think as an athlete, I think if we spend that money and invest in our future, hopefully those temperatures stop rising and maybe the snow at least stabilizes where it is for me but yeah I don't think anyone knows for sure. I don't know anyway. Let me give you some advice. As an athlete, you need to stick to sports because this here reality thing, at least right now, it ain't it for you, brother. And when that ice does melt, I sure hope you can get your breaststroke on like Michael Phelps or your Olympian days are over. When my colleagues invite witnesses to come to us to tell us uh, advise us on passing legislation, I always check out the background of our witnesses because I like to know who I'm talking to. Um, I'm, I, I checked yours out, Mr. Schumacher, um, and I want to be sure I understand it as I evaluate your testimony. Uh, on June 8, 2020, you tweeted, I'm going to quote, the war on drugs was intentionally created to incarcerate black people en masse, end quote. 
The war on drugs, you said, was intentionally created to incarcerate black people en masse. Who, who intentionally created the war on drugs to put black people in jail? Who were you talking about? I don't remember typing that. You don't? No. It's on your Twitter feed. Maybe a retweet. I don't know. I haven't used that in a while. Well, also, even it if it's a retweet, like it's... it shows your support, right? Maybe, yeah. I. But it's not the topic of this conversation. I right, think. right. But it has to do with you're here giving us advice, and I just kind of like to know a little bit more about you. Yeah, I'm, you. I mean, I'm here as an athlete giving you my story and what okay. I've seen in my on, field. On I don't know about you, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly what is he an expert on? Overinflated opinions and clueless, unprovable theories? Because from, from this point of view, it looks like just another complete waste of taxpayer money yet again. So far, his expert testimony has been essentially like, I ski and like sometimes I see snow melting. So like, we've got to stop burning fuel, man. I mean, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I mean, what are we doing here other than losing brain cells and wasting the government's time? And I honestly don't know how Senator Kennedy keeps his composure and doesn't just bust out laughing at all this insanity. God bless him. But we have to stop sending these Greta Thunberg goofballs to the stand and let's instead focus on real problems that are actually going on in the world. August 27th of 2020, you tweeted this, quote, I'm going to quote, police are paid with taxpayer dollars. If they are not answerable to us, we can demand new service, and that's what this is. Abolish the police in favor of that new service, end quote. You think we ought to abolish the police, do you? Again, not the topic I'm here to talk about today. I know, but, but you tweeted it. Do you think we ought to abolish the police? That's not what I'm here to talk about. Should we do that before or after we get rid of fossil fuels? I'm not going to address that. That's... You, know, you don't want to address it? Okay. Uh, let me ask you about one more of your tweets. On August 26, 2020, you tweeted, there's a picture, I'm not going to describe the picture, but you said, quote, your words, not mine, it's on your Twitter feed, Th quote, this is what systemic racism looks like. The Los Angeles Police Department is literally policing only the Black Lives Matter side. End quote. What do you mean by that? This is still off topic. No, it's not. You're here as an expert telling us, <laughs> advising us, and I'm asking you about your, your, your background. I'm here as an athlete to talk about the effects of climate change on my sport. Folks, that right there is a lost liberal soul if I've ever seen one. He wants to abolish the police and instead spend trillions of dollars that we don't have to try and protect winter because his ice is melting? Um, what? I mean, hello? It's called weather, kid. God gave us four seasons, spring, summer, winter, and fall that change based on how the earth spins on its axis. Get used to it. Just because one summer was hotter than another doesn't mean that we're facing a climate crisis. We're not. What we are facing, though, is a a sin-filled stupidity crisis where people think that they have the power to dictate what happens to planet Earth based on how they travel and eat. Absolutely not. God Almighty is the only one in charge that can determine when and how this world ends. And the only guarantee that you and I have of getting out alive is if we have faith in Jesus Christ. And I can promise you, he did not take on that cross and then rise three days later for folks to lean into this cattywampus nonsense. So you best believe I'm going to keep on exposing these hypocrites and all these lies and try to prevent as many people as possible from getting swept away by these fallacies. And I'm going to do that by directing our attention to the facts of what God's word says in that Bible, the basic instructions before leaving earth. And Ephesians 5 verse 10 through 16 says, testing what is pleasing to the Lord. Don't participate in the fruitless works of darkness, but instead expose them for it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. Everything exposed by the light is made visible for what makes everything 
invisible is light. Therefore, it is said, get up, sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Pay careful attention then to how you walk, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. It is a waste of time, and it is very unwise and stupid to follow any of this climate change nonsense. And I know YouTube is going to put a little blue disclaimer box down below pushing their agenda is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. But what I can do is always preach the truth in the face of all this nonsense. And that's exactly what it is. Amen. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Are you a climate change advocate or, or are you on board with common sense and you still cling to sanity and you're trying to save this world as best as you can, even though none of us actually can do that. Only Jesus Christ can save all of us. So let me not misspeak. Let me let me take that back again. I'm not perfect. I'm a flawed sinner that has to repent and always look to Jesus Christ to be the lamp that guides my feet. And that's what all of us have to do, whether you realize it or not. I pray that this world truly wakes up and gets up from the sleep, the slumber that they're in and start just looking at what the reality of these situations actually are. But I'll stop ranting right there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Drop a comment below. Let's keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy so it seems a little extra room to move and groove but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big big and hefty 5x a bunch of colors different designs all of that i'm sure you could find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love outside of that you can always join the gibson family here on youtube and become a member you can buy me a coffee you can join the patreon family all those links are down below as well by no means do you have to do any of that just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes i am greatly appreciative i love y'all i cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.